Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this video, we demonstrate how the concave roller spreader works. In this trial, we will demonstrate moving a narrow web because it is far easier than spreading. This is because the narrow web bends more easily and because we're only pulling in one direction. Spreading requires us to pull aggressively in two opposing directions at once. If you can't move a ribbon, you can't possibly spread. In this trial, we use a simple endless loop designed and built by Componix that you might recognize from the previous video on spiral grooving. However, you can easily do this same experiment on almost any machine in your plant. We move the web using a single band of tape similar to what is done on each end of a roller to make a poor man's concave spreader. And the web moves to the high diameter and traction, as we expect from the laws of web handling. From those laws, we also know that if the web slips, it will move in the opposite direction. There is much, much more we can say about when and why a web moves due to diameter variations, and when and why this might spread, and when and why this might wrinkle. Come to my Web 101 Web Handling and Converting and Winding School to find out why. I would like to extend my greatest gratitude to Componix for designing and building this test fixture and for their help running this set of experiments. In the next video, we will show how a misaligned roller can move the web. 